Airtable project management tutorial how to use Airtable for project management and more hi guys welcome back today i'm going to be showing you how you can use Airtable for your project management and more so let's get started first what you have to do is you will simply go to Airtable.com and you will land right here on this platform Airtable is world's leading project management software that allows you to create your own projects tasks we can add documents files do automation and more using Airtable it helps us save time and get more productive I will show you how to use Airtable how to get your own dashboard and what is the pricing for Airtable so you will have an idea about a table and it will help you make an informed decision if it is the right platform for you or not that being said let's get into the video the first step is of course signing up process once you get to airtable.com you will find the option of sign up for free and you can click right here it will allow you to sign up really quickly in order to sign up all you have to do is just enter your email address and you can also sign up with your google account and that's it uh, once you enter your work email any email that you're using or you sign up with google you will get your own dashboard on airtable i will quickly go ahead and sign in to my airtable after the initial sign up or sign in to your Airtable, this is where you will get. This is our dashboard we get on Airtable. I'm using the free version right now. There are different plans available. So before I show you the dashboard and I show you all of the features, of course, how to create a workspace, how to create a base, how to add different tasks. Let's go ahead and quickly check out the pricing plan for Airtable. So you will have an idea about the affordability of the platform. So on Airtable, we're getting four pricing plans we have a free plan which is going to be completely free and this is a good news that Airtable is available for free and in the free version we get unlimited bases up to five creators one app per base one thing integration 1200 records and 2 gb of attachment per base then we have a plus plan which is going to be ten dollars per seat per month if built annually and twelve dollars if built monthly and it gives us more features then we have a pro plan which is going to be $20 per seat per month if built annually and $24 if built monthly and you can check out all the pricing plan right here and then there is an enterprise available so you can go ahead and check up um, all of these different plans available and you can choose the right plan that suits you once you choose a plan uh, this is where you will get now let's get started with a workspace on Airtable. you will be getting your bases now base simply means your workspaces that you create on Airtable. in order to get started and in order to create task and in order to create list we will need a workspace where we want to work and we can create more than one workspace for our different businesses and for different purposes um, then we have our own templates available on Airtable. so if you're wondering how to get started and if it's difficult for you to start from the scratch you can always use a template Airtable gives us a lot of different templates to choose from you can see right here we have all of these different templates available for content calendars we have project trackers marketing campaigns trackings event planning user research and more so you can actually browse from these categories as well you can see we have creative everyday life legal marketing personal publishing real estate software development startup and more so let's say that you're into marketing i will simply go to marketing right here and it will narrow down my search for me and i will be able to choose from marketing templates available on airtable so for marketing we have marketing campaign trackings content operations social media calendar product launch event marketing and more so i am personally into event you know marketing and we are also product launch and email marketing that's what our business revolves around so i can choose from any of these templates or we can also start from the scratch so I will simply go ahead and select this template right here, which is a digital asset management. Starting from the scratch and using a template is quite similar. We can actually customize a template the way we want to. So don't worry about it. Once you get an overview of the template, you can click on use template from here. Then we have to select the workspace. 
so this is our board right here this is the workspace that i just created and you can see right here it's a template so it has everything included here but if you're starting from the scratch then everything will be empty of course and you can change um everything from here we have a name for our different projects that we do so the first thing of course is going to be changing the name for your asset right here the workspace that you have just created and this is uh, like a view for us where we can check everything and it's going to be a bit you know difficult for you as a beginner to check this template right here let me actually give you a complete view so we have name right here this is one of the categories already created you can change and rename the field to your name let's let's change the name to do okay so let's say that these are the things that i want to do these are my plans i will click on enter and there you go now i can click right here and change this one as well change the name using the template kind of like gives us this view and we can use it very easily and we have serial number given here similarly there are different fields created such as due date accepted type of request brands and sub brands requester designer prover priority and then we have notes as well uh, what is driving you then we have request status and more if you want to delete these fields for example we don't have this kind of field so what i will do is i will click on delete field and it will be deleted similarly we have brands and sub brands i'm going to delete this field as well designer requester also we don't have any requesters so i'm going to delete this as well i'm just going to keep it very simple to what i want we have to do and then after to do we have due date yes i want this one accepted yes designer so we don't have designers we actually have editors so i will rename it to editors there you go approver no there is no such field so i'm going to delete it and then we have priority of course and it says what is driving your and stuff so i'm just going to rename it to notes there you go and then we have request status this is this is important if it's in progress if it's a recording so we need to keep track of this and then we have additional notes as well so this was not notes and then we have this one here we can delete this one then i think okay perfect now you can see i have narrowed it down to a very simple board right here the one that i wanted and that's what you can do as a complete beginner now we have our to-do list we have our due dates, we have approvals, we have our editors or designers, priority, request status, and additional notes. To add a new field, you can again click on this plus icon and do whatever you want to. How to set a due date? Click right here and enter the due date. Of course, we can enter anything into a box right here. It, the box works like a spreadsheet. It's quite similar. And then we have again accepted. In accepted, we have this plus button and you can change the fields from here. You can click on this button and it will allow you to insert and uh, you know add the field permissions we have groups we have filters you can do anything with all of these different boxes then we have colors as well if you want to change and customize your a table you can do that from here so this is in the request section right here then we have digital assets so each workspace can have different boards the first board was work in progress right we're doing that work and then we have another right here which is digital assets so what i'm gonna do is i will actually rename my table these are all different tables that we have i'm gonna rename my table to content uploaded so this will give me an idea that this is the content that i have already uploaded and we have selected a gallery view we can change different views from here we can go with a grid view you can see we have grid form calendar gallery campaign timeline and get so you can go with any of these i personally prefer a campaign view so i'm going to click on add and i'm going to add a new view to my this table right here click on done and there you go i changed my view because i was not liking that table view you can change your view anytime you want to similarly in request section as well this is confusing for you and you don't know how to do it you can anytime change the view you can go to views right here and change the view to a grid view or maybe a kanban view again i will change this view to kanban as well 
there you go i have changed my view so that's how we simply use a table it's really simple to use nothing complicated we can change the views we can customize our cards we can add new cards as well so to create a new card into any of the list you click on this plus button right here and you enter the name let's just call it task one now i can select a status you can create as many status as you like uh, for now we can go with in reviews then we have assets and if you want to drop a file or browser file from your computer you can just add them right here then we have a format and in format again you can add different tags and create different formats for yourself with this template we're getting audio image video document and png so this is actually a video then we have last updated and uh, restrictions if there is any you can add everything you want to and then you can click on enter and your new task will be created just like this you can see this is my new task and to move a task from one list to another it's a simple drag and drop as the look of air table people find it a bit difficult to use but it's very similar to all of the other project management software such as ClickUp or Trello um, and it's really easy to use um, you can also you know move to different tables within a template I showed you and then if you do not want any you can delete the table as well and create a brand new table or import a table as as well you can import from your different integrations we have we get a lot of integrations on Airtable we have Jira Salesforce cloud and more once you know how to use Airtable then it will become super easy for you and you will be able to create your own workspaces all of your workspaces will be shown here you can customize them the way you want to and you can also track your progress create content and get more productive so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to use a table project management software don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel